Daib Noor is herding his camels back into the pen for night shelter. Like all Somali nomads over the centuries, he used to fear the dark. At night, his precious camels were under constant threat from predators like hyenas. He often had to fear for his own life too. We used to have a lot of problems. We used handheld flashlights at night, but we had difficulties finding batteries. And during those times, we would be attacked by hyenas. Now, thanks to these solar lamps, any potential predators are scared away by the bright lights. And the camels have something interesting to investigate. Hargeisa is the capital of Somaliland. Here, Abdi Shakur Ahmed has set up his own solar company to bring light to the rural areas. As a child, he was a refugee and grew up in poverty. He was only introduced to electric light at the age of 11. Today, he and his team are on a mission to replace traditional kerosene and battery-powered lamps with solar power. Rural Somalis spend one quarter of their income to light their houses with kerosene, which is more expensive than the total cost of solar light. So we have introduced a financing model which enables them to, bear, to buy solar products on installment and it utilizes mobile money technology. At 50 cents a day, it is affordable even for people in rural areas. Every week, Abdi Shakur and his team head out to remote areas. They travel rough roads to bring sustainable and clean lighting to completely neglected communities. These trips, however, have their fair share of challenges. We have trips twice a week and go to rural communities. Sometimes we go to like a very remote areas. And some of the challenges we actually have is like a lack of road accessibility to those areas. There are no roads exist sometimes in the areas that we drive. And sometimes the team get lost in, in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere, close to Somaliland's border with Ethiopia, we come to the small village of Tuli. Here, it is already normal to see some light solar lamps in the few shops and homes. Rama Mihile, who runs a small business, was one of the first to buy the clean and durable lighting alternative. In the past, we used to use kerosene lamps, but we've switched to solar light as it allows us to stay open late at night. Now, nighttime or daytime, it doesn't make any difference. We can continue with our work. The shop owner has connected more and more people who are interested in knowing more about the solar lamps. Kerosene lamps are not only expensive and environmentally harmful, they also pose a real risk of fire breaking out in the middle of the night. After four months, the solar lamps are paid off, a concept that works. Since 2014, we've sold over 5,000 solar lamps and have reached over 85 villages. Our customers here are usually small business owners and households, as well as nomads and farmers who need the lights for protection. Most of our clients, about 65%, are women. One of the reasons that the rural Somali market has been so neglected is that many people cannot afford much. Many locals still survive by battering, hunting or small-scale farming. That's why Abdi Shakur came up with alternative payment solutions. All of our customers don't usually have cash ready. Uh, sometimes they might have other commodities that are you know, acceptable, such as agricultural products livestock or chicken egg so if they have you know a, a commodities like that we actually accept it as payment many people can now afford the lamps a development that's good for the environment and useful to local residents on the night market for example small light is making a big difference <laughs> 